This is the Power Horse 2 solar panel for trail cameras by the company Upper OC. As with all my purchases, I like doing these unboxings in case there's somebody else out there thinking about buying the same item. They want to get an idea of what does it look like when it comes in, what's the quality like, etc. So as I started doing the unboxing, I realized maybe I should read the instruction manual and then I can walk you through how everything works. That's what we're going to do now. First, let me show you everything you get. You get an instruction manual. Again, this is the Power Horse Solar Panel 2. It is a 52 milliampere solar panel. It has four watts of solar charging. The nice thing about this one is you can use it whether you have a trail camera that runs on 6 volt, 9 volt, or 12 volt. I'm going to show you that here in a second. Uh, they give you some mounting hardware and some mounting screws. This is basically going to be for you to be able to mount the solar panel on a wall, a tree, whatever you're looking to do. I'm not going to show you all the pieces in there, but basically it's just mounting hardware. You don't have to use their mounting hardware. If you look at the back of the solar panel, it also has a standard uh, thread. So if you're somebody that uses trail camera mounts, you can use your trail camera mount as well on this to mount it. You also have a compass on back. At the bottom here, it's really small, but you have an LED light that will show you whether or not the solar panel is being charged, is fully charged, or whether or not the battery is low. Uh, it's kind of misleading. It says open and close back here. At first glance, you would think, oh, this must be where I open it to change the voltage. It's not. The only time you would ever need to open this is if you needed to replace the rechargeable batteries that are housed underneath here. There's a screw up top. You can take the screw out. You can unscrew this uh, case. And all you're going to see is basically two rechargeable batteries under there. So there's really no need to ever open this. Give you a look at the solar panel. It's nice, flat. So let's talk about how it works. You've got three different cords coming off of the solar panel. This one here is a Type-C charging cable. A lot of your new electronic devices are going to Type-C cables. All you're going to do is plug this into a computer if you've got a Type-C import. If you don't, you might need to get a Type-C to USB converter, but basically you're going to plug this in either to a wall outlet or a computer. As with most solar panels, you want to fully charge it using an external power source. Once it's fully charged, then the solar panel and the internal batteries will keep it running. The other, one of these other cords is basically just the female connector to this Type-C cable. So once you've got it fully charged, you're going to simply connect this and then you're going to screw this piece down to keep it nice and snug. This is an IP66 waterproof solar panel, but your cables, you want to make sure you're using these pieces to make sure there's no water getting in your cables. So now we just have this additional cable. If you look at it, it's got two prongs on the inside of it. This is going to be what you connect to this cord that they give you. It's a 10 foot cord. This will connect your solar panel to your trail camera. And it's pretty simple. You basically have a female end here, and you're going to simply put those two together and we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to take this piece, make it nice and snug. Now, this piece right here is going to be what you use to change the voltage that you need for your trail camera. If you simply unscrew this and pull it back, there's a little switch in here that has three different markers. Six volt, nine volt is the middle, and 12 volt is the furthest to the right. You're gonna simply move this switch to choose whatever voltage you need, and then once you've got it set, you're gonna slide this back and screw it down. Really easy to change your voltage. And then last but not least, so now we've got our solar panel connected to the cord, we've got our voltage set, we've got this in that we're going to put into our solar, into our trail camera. I've got a couple different trail cameras we're gonna show here. So the reason I bought this is because I just got one of these uh, new Wingscape Bird cameras. It's a six volt camera. You'll notice I don't have any batteries in it. All I'm gonna do is plug the solar panel into the bottom. And you can see that the solar panel is powering the camera. It's too expensive for me to use AA batteries and keep replacing batteries every time these cameras get triggered, especially a camera like this that's a bird camera. It's going off all day long. So 
works fine on that camera. Let's take a different camera just for kick's sake. I've got a Moultrie uh, trail camera here. Again, now this one's a little different because it can run on either 12 volt or 6 volt. This is one of these cameras that uses either four AA batteries or eight AA batteries. Again, let's try the solar panel. Just wanting to show you that it works with various different trail cameras. And you can see no batteries in the camera. Solar panel is powering it just fine. So the only other thing I was going to show you is what if you don't have a camera that has an end that fits this. They also give you this extension piece that you can simply put on that cable and now you've got a smaller end if you happen to have a trail camera that has one of the smaller inputs. Pretty simple stuff. It's a quick look at the Power Horse Solar Panel 2. As always, I hope the video helps. Thanks for watching.